Yeah. This is not a matter for debate. Lynn Connolly. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor Ruddock, Deputy Mayor Hutchins, Councillors, General Manager Mr Head, Senior Staff, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lynn Connolly and I'm the President of the Australian Childcare Alliance, New South Wales. Firstly, thank you for this opportunity to speak to you again as a peak body representing 1,600 early childhood education and care services owned and operated overwhelmingly by small to medium sized New South Wales family businesses many of whom are in your LGA. You will be familiar with economic law that says increases in supply will push prices down. However, in childcare that appears not to be the case. The Commonwealth has consistently been reporting high proportions of early childhood education and care services with vacancies. In fact, their most recent report stated that such proportions of services having vacancies have reached their newest peaks with 93% of long day care centre-based care services, 93% of family day care, and 95% of out of school hours care services, stating that they all have vacancies. And although I am not one of your local residents, we hear some disquiet from some of your residents when new childcare centres are proposed and approved in their neighbourhoods that may seem to be inappropriate. We believe that ever since the state environmental planning policy, educational establishments and childcare facilities was introduced in 2017, it is local councils and their local communities who have lost significant amount of local sovereignty to properly regulate childcare supply. Hence, since the SEPs introduction, we have been campaigning for changes, especially to the restoration of appropriate local regulatory power powers to local councils and local communities. Albeit late, the review of this SEP has already conceded a number of its flaws. For one, it has agreed to restore council's powers to have separation requirements between any existing early childhood education and care service provider and with the proposed new one. For another, it is requiring greater consideration of impact to local amenity and character. We suspect these proposed changes are still not enough as outlined in our formal submission to the New South Wales Department of Planning, a copy of which you, have all, you now have by email and is available on our website. As part of our ongoing advocacy, it is also worth noting that the New South Wales Department of Education and the Australian Billing Codes of Australia are conducting their respective reviews about children's safety in terms of emergency and evacuations from childcare centres, especially in multi-storey buildings. As a peak body, we continue to engage with numerous local councils who are experiencing childcare oversupply. One of the largest has just visited us. Sorry, one of the largest has just invited us to a councillor's workshop to consider the SEP, their local environmental plan, and the development controls, as well as their own advocacies to the New South Wales government. We need to get this right for the children because if we get it right for the children, we get it right for the nation. I'm grateful for you listening to me, and we are happy to assist you, Hornsby Council, if you have any similar concerns. Well, thank you very much. Can I just no? I'm going to make it very clear. If you'd like to resume your seat. Uh, Council you. has been making representations on this matter. Um, I have seen the Minister with the local member um, and Council is very unhappy about the way in which the SEP, SEP has influenced decisions in this area. Um, there being no other matters before Council, I ask are there any matters of urgency? If there are no matters of urgency, I'd say it's a great pleasure to declare the meeting closed. <laughs>